so, as you can tell by the title of this video, we are gonna, gonna redo a video I did a while ago, but the topic is, is starting on a 600 really a good choice? <laughs> I made this video a while ago, like just starting at 600, but I really don't remember what I said. <laughs> and at the time, I've only been riding for like, I don't know how long, maybe four or five months, maybe, I assume. Yeah, this has come from someone who started on a 600. <laughs> and I, I just hit, I'm pretty sure about my year of riding, pretty sure, or around there, or a little past, I forgot the exact date. But yeah, so when it really comes to your first bike, it's I don't know the reason I'll go over over, 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 over the reason why I chose the 600. So one big reason was kind of like my budget. <laughs> I only had like maybe like 3k, 3-4k to spare on a bike, and I was looking at like 400s. Like the newer ones, they look pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, they look pretty cool. But every one I could find was not in my budget, you know? It was just not in my budget. And then I first learned in a parking lot on like a, my friend's like 300 naked bike, like something very simple. And at first, man, it was crazy. Like <laughs> going 20 miles an hour on a bike felt like. I was flying and then a little bit after that, a good bit after that, I took the course at uh, a Harley dealership and after that I bought my bike a week after. I ended up going with the 600 because everyone was telling me, and that's one thing you're going to hear a lot, everyone telling me, oh you're going to get bored on a 300, 400. Yeah, <laughs> I mean it's understandable. But I was like, no, no, I don't want to buy a bike to sell it again or sell it in a few months and upgrade. Looking back, I kind of wish I did. Go ahead. Looking back, I kind of wish I did because, I, well, I don't know. I really don't regret starting on a 600 at all. I don't regret it at all. I love my 600. But the big thing is just, for the most, I bit my tongue. For the most part, I was very careful on that bike, like, yeah, I did the occasional fast pulls, whatever, this and that, but I was only in, like, certain circumstances where I'm like, okay, it's wide open lanes, I feel like, keyword feel, now I am, I feel like I could slow down fast enough if I had to, or stuff like that, and I just, I stuck with that for a good while. I had this 600 for like four months. I put like maybe 8,000, 9,000 miles on before it blew on me. Cause it was high mileage. Like it was a 2006 CBR 600. Very high miles. It was like, I bought it at like, it had like 33,000 when I bought it around there. It blew at like 41 or like 40K miles. So that kind of gives you an idea of what went on. But, I loved it. If I still had it now, I would still be on it. Like, <laughs> I bought this because newer insurance is insane for new 600. That's one thing I think about too. Sport bike insurance is actually crazy. <laughs> it is really up there. For some reason, that's the thing. It's really up there. You gotta think about that. It's <laughs> the price of it, maintenance. It's not too bad. Depends on how you ride it. And then one thing a beginning I think about too, oh my boys, the ergonomics on a sport bike is actually insane. Especially for being a taller rider, because I'm about 6'2 myself. So like, it definitely took a toll on my back being leaned over that much. But I loved it. I love that a lot. But one thing I recommend, like a lot of people who uh, I know are running to ask me, hey, what's a good beginner bike, this and that. And now, after, after whew, I can't talk. After riding for a year or so, I'm riding a lot of other bikes, 
I'll tell people like a 300, 400 because it's legit fast enough. Like, <laughs> yeah, it'll be slower than all your friends, but you gotta understand, it's your first bike. It's a stepping stone. Like, dude, it is a marathon, it's not a race to being fast or fast. You could be fast in a straight line, but have no skill on turns and stuff like that. Like, there's plenty of other options, and you can you can risk, dude, like four or five months on a three four hundred just to learn, you know. And have the big thing is on those bikes, you have more room for error on like a 300, 400, way more room for error. So you gotta think about that too. The throttle has a lot of give in them. Like it's, it's good for someone that's starting to ride, you know? And the newer bikes now, they're nice, man. They're very nice. Very nice bikes. So it's, uh, so really, I just really be smart about it. Just think about long term, you know? You don't want to just rush <laughs> to get a fast bike. You're like, okay, I'm here. Okay, you know? And it's just like, I've seen people crash on the Grom 250s. Like it, a lot of it depends on the rider. You know, a decent bit at least. A decent bit depends on the rider and how they can control themselves. You know, it's like you can buy a 250, but if you have no self-restraint, you're gonna crash. You know, if you're not mature in the head or smart about how you ride everything, you're gonna crash. And there's so much thing to learn like your first bike first few bikes teach you a lot so <laughs> like it's there's i learn new stuff almost every day from riding especially trying to learn track riding there's always room to grow you know there'll always be something to do but yeah then the lover asked hey i grew up on dirt bikes can i get a 600 I mean, yeah, you can, sure. But, you gotta remember, it is different. <laughs> Street and dirt is different. It's just, it's different. You always gotta remember, too, it's just how you can handle yourself, how you can control yourself. Like, if someone wants to race you, stuff like that. Like, your mental maturity in certain situations, your awareness. I hope you came, it's really windy. So you gotta really be on your A game, but you gotta really be looking around, scanning constantly. But then like, there are other 600s, like 600, like the FT6R. That's a great beginner bike, in my opinion. It has a little, the R6 sound, but the power is very forgiving, for the most part. <laughs> He says, there's many routes, routes you can take besides getting a sport bike. Because you never know, you can buy a sport bike and you hate the way it makes your body feel. You got to think about that because if you're going to be on comfort the whole time, you're not going to enjoy it. You know? But yeah, that's just my really big thing about it. Like, I love my naked bike I love it but like I know my heart personally is with sport bikes you know that's where my heart's at like I'll happily be able to buy one again that's my goal for a track yeah one thing I just gotta say just, just be smart about it man you know it's not a race it's a marathon just it, just be smart dude get that 300 400 Hey, maybe a 500, just take your time with it. If you want to start on a 600, hey, go right ahead. I did it and it was smooth, just go right ahead. It's just, remember, <laughs> it, it, things that happen very fast on the bike, just really sit there and think about it. It's not gonna hurt you just to wait a few months, dude. It's not gonna hurt. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanna just make a quick little video. That's about it. If you have any questions, you know, drop them in the comments. I'm sure other people can help you out also. But yeah.
It's been fun with you guys. I love y'all. Thank y'all for 900, I think about 940 subs around now. So yeah, I hope you have a good day, good night, and a good evening. It's your boy, <laughs> NTV.